He directed it to two students, not directly calling them the N-word, but just telling them not to say it. Then it is a wrap. It's over. Clearly, he did not mean it like they acted like he meant it. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. And if this is your first time visiting, I thank you for coming over here. But do me a favor, go over to my channel and I want you to check it out in its entirety. What you do is click on playlists. See all these different topics right here. These topics are all the different things that I do on this channel. What's going on, folks? Folk uh, so I want you guys to uh, watch this. Shout out to my guy, the right wing angel. Go follow him over there on YouTube. Follow him also on Instagram, the right winged angel. You guys check this video out real quick. It's demanding action tonight after a teacher used the N-word in class. Hundreds of students walking out of Decatur High School in protest. He directed it to two students, not directly calling them the N-word, but just telling them not to say it. Um, this caused a lot of people to be in shock because we weren't expecting him to say the actual word. And he said it multiple times. Students at Decatur High School say a teacher, identified by staff members as Mr. Chestnut, was removed from class for one day after using the N-word last week in front of his physics class. He returned to class, and this is how students reacted. No justice, no peace, no students tonight say Mr. Chestnut needs more diversity training, and he should be fired. Students demanding action tonight after a teacher used the N-word in class. Hundreds of students walking out of Decatur High School in protest. He directed it to two students, not directly calling them the N-word, but just telling them not to say it. Um, this caused a lot of people to be in shock because we weren't expecting him to say the actual word. And he said it multiple times. Students at Decatur High School say a teacher, identified by staff members as Mr. Chestnut, was removed. Every colored and Asian, Hispanic people were very hurt by him saying it, and they really just wanted something to change, especially because he was suspended once for one day and came back acting natural. He did make himself the victim, and when he apologized, he didn't really even apologize, and we just feel like something should happen. We reached out to the district. They haven't responded. The school did send out a letter to parents days later saying in part this behavior has no place in a classroom, will not be tolerated, and staff is committed to making DHS an anti-racist school. Every colored and when Mr. Chestnut returned to school a day later, he addressed students in his sixth period class with this. It's, it was harmful for me to say it. Um, for me as a middle-aged white man to say it, it it's a different way. It's almost like it's cool and it's definitely not. Um, I could have thought of that in the moment and done something different. He acknowledged students may no longer feel safe returning to his class either. And I got the opportunity to think about how and why that got past the filter. Right? It's easy for me to wonder that growing up in this country time I did, starting in the past, that uh, I have absorbed some racist nonsense that is still bumping around in my brain. The reason I'm showing up for class next week is because I have to do a retest. It was so not a good apology that I don't even remember what he said. When Mr. Chestnut returned to school. Okay, did y'all see this nonsense? Absolute 100% nonsense. All of a sudden, they want to all come together and kumbaya because this teacher pretty much told other people not to say the N word. He pretty much, in other words, I'll do it for you since I had the liberty to do it. <laughs> it was just stupid. This man told other kids, I guess, don't say nigger or don't say nigga. That's what he did. That's, that's what he did. And all of a sudden, everybody want to erupt oh, because the teacher can't. Y'all, I'm telling you right now, we are in such a ridiculous, stupid, easily offended, butthurt in your feelings, sissy five generation of kids right now. It makes no sense. It's all a setup so you can be easily overtaken easily because you're all in your feelings and you're all sensitive and you all want to be safe like they mentioned in this video. Oh, the teacher, they, they want the, the students want to feel safe. BS, man. 
At first, my heart jumped a little bit because I was getting ready to take a drive to my hometown when they said Decatur High School. I'm like, oh, I'm about to go here. I'm about to back this teacher up because, to be quite honest with you, the teacher is the victim. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Although you heard the audio of what that teacher was saying, oh, I still got, that's his way of sucking up because he don't want to lose his job. That man did absolutely nothing wrong. You want me to tell you why? Because the way that he used it, he did not say it in a way to actually cause harm to nobody. He didn't say it in a way with the intentions of his heart meant it for what they meant it back in the slave days. No. And I guarantee you or your money back. You niggas at that high school know that you niggas using the word niggas when you call another niggas niggas. Come on now. Be real. Please. Nigga, please. Yeah, you heard me say it. Let's see if my video gets striked for that. I don't know. It Maybe it will. But what I'm saying is this. It's all in our music. Russell Westbrook called multiple people niggas. Then this teacher we saw the other day and I did on my show. He said to the other person, the person said something, he called him the N-word, he called him the N-word back. You know that in that school, people are calling each other the N-word. And again, black folks, this should be a insult to you because they look at you. When I say they, I'm talking about the ones who are virtue signaling to make you feel good about yourself because you see an opposite person call you the N-word like the way you use it, they feel that you should be able to use it because you don't know any better. Let you Negroes keep calling yourself the N-word all day long. Keep calling yourself the N-word all day long because you animals don't know any better. Let the animals keep calling the other animals the N-word. But again, this was clear cut easy. They didn't even have to do no more reporting on this story right here. The minute that girl said he was not calling the students the N-word, but rather he was telling them not to say the N-word, but because he actually said, nigga, he got in trouble. So would it have been better if the teacher said, hey, don't say N-word versus the teacher saying, hey, don't don't say the word nigga. <gasps> and what y'all want to walk out? Y'all going to y'all going to walk out. You guys are going to walk out because this teacher told some other people don't say it. Shouldn't it? Isn't, isn't that like what it's supposed to be about? Isn't, isn't it, what did the teacher, what exactly did this man do wrong? Now, I'm going to make a phone call there and I would love to talk to this teacher. They gave his name out. I'm going to make a phone call there and see if I can get an interview with him because I'm going to tell him how he's absolutely 100% wrong for getting up there and apologizing for something that he did not do that was wrong. I don't care what nonsense he tries to push out there and they're going to say he needs more diversity training. Niggas need more diversity training. Y'all the ones that keep calling each other niggas all day long. We call each other niggas all through our rap music and everything. And you hear me saying on YouTube right now, but YouTube will let this ride all day long. They, it don't matter because, again, it's a black person that's saying it. I'm going to say it to the day that I die. I grew up in the hood with white, Latino, and Asian people. We all called each other niggas all day long. Turns of endearment. What's up, nigga? What's up, my nigga? Oh man, this nigga trip. Man, these niggas over there. Hey, they was over there getting lit the other day. And I tell you what, hey, they need to stay in their side of the block, man, because these niggas can't be coming over on our side. I mean, this is how we talk all day long. All this stuff that y'all are seeing is only because it's it exists in this media world. It exists on the news and all that. In the hood, where there are white, black, Asian, Latino people living at. They call each other this stuff all day long. I bet you won't go there virtue signaling to them. Go in the hood and tell them y'all down the hood because y'all tired of Latinos or white people using the N-word when they're using the same exact way that we black folks use it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's see what happens. This is ridiculous, man. It's absolutely. Yes, you heard me. The teacher is the victim in this case right here. Plain and simple. These students walking out. Let's see. Now, how many at this school? Let's see how many fights happened in that school within the past week or so like that. Did they did they march and walk out for that? Because I guarantee those fights most likely between some black folks. Did they walk out when they hear other black people saying the word nigga? No, not absolutely 100 percent No, they won't be doing that at all. Hypocrisy at its finest, folks. Virtue signaling at its finest. Even coming from you, teacher. Don't sit there, man. Man, stand on your square. Let them know. I use this because I told them, don't say that, man. What's wrong with you doing that? At least you will have people backing you up. This nonsense, these skills. Oh, we're going to walk out of school. Y'all just use it as a lame excuse to get out of school. Holding up signs and everything like that. Stop all that BS. Diversity. Shut the heck up. Come on, man. Get real with me. I'm about to end this stuff, y'all. Let me know what y'all think of this ridiculous nonsense. Leave it in the comments below after this video, folks. Don't forget, I know that you guys are live right now. Double check to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. 
Make sure that when you do subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can be notified when I post videos. Yeah, I know, folks. I know. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, and I hope and pray that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you. So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But, like, right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So, in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So, again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it and God bless you all.